What's happening hardscapers today? We're gonna to go through three reasons why your polymeric sand is loose. Let's get into this. So if your polymeric sand does not harden immediately or afterwards it is hard and eventually becomes loose, there's a few reasons that we're gonna get into why this is. Usually it's installation based or environmental based. So we'll talk about those as well as solutions for each one of these. Starting with number one, why is your polymeric sand loose? Well, if it looks like it's been caving in, it's likely a consolidation issue. And this is in the installation process. When we sweep in our polymeric sand, we also compact our pavers on top. What this does is it seats our pavers into our bedding layer, but it also works that polymeric sand down to the bottom of the joint. Because when you're installing, when you're sweeping in that sand, you'll get those larger grains that'll lodge themselves at some point in that paver, and it'll stop those finer grains from getting all the way down to the bottom. So you'll see that polymeric sand actually only get to about halfway before that starts to happen. So when you compact it, you're adding some vibratory compaction to it, which rattles those larger grains grains down to the bottom and those smaller grains start to follow there. And if you don't consolidate, what happens is you get a crust at the very top that does actually get activated and if you're lucky it does get hard. But over time with traffic, what will happen is that sand will work its way further and further down in the joint. So this is something that will happen over time and you'll actually see like caving in of those joints, whether it's falling down or pieces just become dislodged and you have hollow sections within your pavers. It's very evident, especially when I'm lifting and relaying. I'm picking up pavers and what I'm seeing is just that halfway point of the pavers having polymeric sand and the remainder not. And so if you're getting this caving in issue, this is likely a consolidation issue in that the contractor did not actually consolidate it properly, getting that polymeric sand down to the joint, getting that full depth, and then activating with water. And what's the solution to this? Unfortunately, it's getting into either pressure washing that polymeric sand out of the joint, preferably using a hot water pressure washer, it'll activate the polymers and it'll nicely get that polymeric sand out of the joints or scraping it out yourself. You wanna get at least an inch and a half of depth out of there and then reinstall that polymeric sand. Most manufacturers require that inch and a half for that polymeric sand to actually be activated properly. So that's why you're looking for at least an inch and a half in depth. The next one is when there's sections of that polymeric sand failing. So you might have areas that the polymeric sand is doing great and you might have areas that the polymeric sand is not doing so great. Now, not all Always, but this is typically due to low spots, so areas where that water is going to settle a little bit more than other areas. So it might be that you take a look at your patio after a rainfall and see where that water is taking a little bit longer to actually either evaporate or get its way out of that system. Especially with textured stone or just in the insulation process in general, there may be areas in that patio or project that are just slightly lower than others, causing that water to accumulate there and then it's a little bit more difficult for that water to work its way out of the system. And where polymeric sand fails, especially in the installation and activation process, is when that water never works its way out of those joints and they just become saturated and the polymeric sand is never given a chance to cure. So that's why in some areas of your project you might have good polymeric sand activation and curing, whereas in other areas where it is a little bit lower that water sits, you may have poor activation of that polymeric sand with the curing process and that polymeric sand is just loose. Unfortunately, if it is the case that this is caused by lower areas in your patio, you do have to remove those pavers, level it off a little bit more, raise it just a little bit more, put those pavers back down and reapply that polymeric sand. And then number three is if your entire project or the majority of the project, the polymeric sand is loose. And this is most likely due to the installation process or the environment around it. Starting with the installation process, if the polymeric sand was not installed properly, with the proper sweeping consolidation and the activation especially, you're going to have that polymeric sand fail. And especially with that activation, if you use too little water or too much water, that polymeric sand will not have the ability to cure it properly. Or if you use too little water, you won't get all the way down to the bottom of that joint and that polymeric sand won't get saturated all the way to the bottom. There's no activation and it'll just become loose and eventually erode away or just fall apart completely. If you use too much water, you're gonna 
saturated too much, you're not gonna give it a chance to cure properly because there's too much moisture in that. And that's more along the lines of you just get loose polymeric sand all over your project. In addition to that, it could be also have to do with your base material as well. If you have a base material like stone dust, which does not allow for the penetration of water, you don't have good drainage underneath your pavers, that water is gonna sit there underneath and it's not going to allow that polymeric sand once again to cure too much moisture, that polymeric sand is going to fail. This is why we like open graded base installations. That open graded base has no fines in it. Water works its way all the way through that system and out depending on where you want to take it. And then the other reason just could be environmental reasons. So if your area does not get a lot of sun, if it's shaded for the majority of the day, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for water on the surface to work its way off that system. And like we've been saying throughout this video, that water is going to cause the failure of that polymeric sand if it's just gonna sit there on top of the surface. That's why if we have a shady area, we'll opt for a heavier slope, like a quarter of an inch per foot slope, as opposed to an eighth of an inch per foot slope, which we usually prefer, and especially with a textured stone. So that's gonna allow us to get that water off that surface much faster than it would with that eighth of an inch per foot slope. And that's gonna contribute more to the longevity of our polymeric sand, especially. And in addition to that environmental factor, if we install the polymeric sand and it rains shortly after, that's going to also cause the failure of that polymeric sand. It'll be loose, it won't cure properly. Once again, too much moisture in general. So you want the correct environment when you are actually installing it as well. Rainfall is incredibly important and each manufacturer will have their own. Usually it's at least 24 hours, no rain after activating that polymeric sand, but you'll wanna to refer to the manufacturer for that information. And a solution to the majority of your project failing with that polymeric sand is unfortunately a complete redo pressure wash or scrape that polymeric sand out. Once again, inch and a half, depth at least. Pressure wash, scrape, make sure you're getting the majority of it out and reapply. You'll still wanna do the consolidation with all of these solutions to get that polymeric sand down to the bottom of the joint. And you wanna make sure if you're pressure washing, you're getting that moisture out of there, so letting it sit on a nice hot day until there's no moisture in that joint, especially on the side of those pavers. And once again, this also could come down to the actual base material and what was installed on that, that Cause this failure. And then as a bonus one, number four would be if your polymeric sand looks like it has a crust of hardened polymeric sand, and then when you peel away that crust, you have loose polymeric sand all the way through the joint. Now this could be a few different reasons. It could be overwatering, where there's too much water, the top surface of that polymeric sand, it is able to cure, just because that water is able to escape through that top layer, so that does cure, but everything else below it does not. It could be that it was under Watered, and that top surface is the only thing that was able to get water to get activated. It's the only part that gets cured. And then over time, that bottom layer is just loose. And then that bottom layer never gets activated. It gets oversaturated with rain and it never cures. Or it could be that the polymeric sand was installed too high on those pavers. You're looking for an eighth of an inch below the top of the paver or the bottom of the chamfer of that paver. And that's gonna allow a lower point in that pavement for water to accumulate and following your slope, follow its way out of that system. What happens with polymeric sand if it's installed too high is that over time traffic will just erode away that polymeric sand or activating that polymeric sand will just spread it out all over the surface of your pavement and it'll just eventually just wash it away. You do want that level to be accurate, especially before you activate your polymeric sand or else you're gonna get that crust as we mentioned on the surface of your polymeric sand. And these are the three reasons, plus a bonus reason of why your polymeric sand is likely loose. Number one, caving in, likely consolidation. Number two, if you have sections that are loose and sections that are good, likely lower spots that are accumulating too much moisture. And number three, if most of the project is completely loose, it's either an installation factor or an environmental factor. Once again, just too much moisture in that system. And that bonus one, number four, that crust, likely the polymeric sand was installed too high in that system. If this video has helped you in any way, please give it a like, comment below any questions that you may have on this topic. I'll be sure to get back to everybody there and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hardscape content like this. Thank you so much for watching.